Hello everyone, so today let's make some amazing and delicious chicken drums. So right here we have the chicken drums. With these chicken drums, I'm gonna take off all the skin. I always like to take the skin. And our ingredients are going to be some limes. These ones are some mayor limes. We have sage. We have some nice and delicious garlic right here. And from this garlic also, I have a really big shop over here. I have some nice thyme. I have some very nice um, rosemary that I'm gonna be using and also some oregano leaves. So also it's gonna be having some nice olive oil with some um, black pepper. I like this big bottle, this container. I find out that that's much cost efficient. And so also we have some nice salt. I like to use the pink salt, but you can use any table salt that you like to use. And also we're gonna be putting some nice uh, red pepper crushing. This is gonna give you a little bit of uh, taste and nice flavor. So, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix all these ingredients and also I'm going to put them in here and then I'm gonna smash them very nicely to get all the juices out of it. And so, and of course I'm going to take off the skin of the chicken and our utensils are going to be some nice scissors. I like this ones that I got that was in Safeway. Very cheap by the way, that was less than $4 Safeway scissors. And you're gonna use a little bowl to put the chicken in. And then let's use this container to put our debris. So let's work on taking off the skin of the chicken. So let's move all these things out of the way. And actually, I think I'm gonna change this container to use another bigger container. So let me just do it right now. I have one very nice container that I really love for when I have to work with my chicken. And so, and it's because that's gonna give me a very, very nice uh, space to work with. And I have this nice container and the reason why is because this is going to be in the refrigerator for quite a bit so this is what I'm going to be using okay so I'm gonna put this out of the way I'm going to remove these things for right now and so and let's uh, put this out of the way remove these things too and now let me bring the chicken back and let's work on this together please i need you to know that sometimes these things gets a little bit difficult but we're going to work on this together so let's move our container which is nice and clean let's put it right here and so and right here i want to be putting at uh, the chicken and let's uh Keep in mind, I am a tea lover, and so I always love to enjoy my tea. And so, and today I am having some amazing and delicious uh, saffron tea. So it looks so beautiful. So cheers to all of you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's work on this part first. Let's grab one chicken, okay? So, and usually you have to have, uh, well, you have to always, no, usually all the time, your hands has to be clean, and um, you have to use a little bit of force to remove this. Some people, they are an expert working on this area, so um, I personally, I like to uh, always try to take off uh, the skin of the chicken. And so, and you can use the help of your scissors, like this, okay? And we're going to use our debris container, which actually I'm going to put a little plastic bag in it, because that way, you know, it's gonna be more clean. So, let's put a little plastic bag over here. And that way, guess what? That way we can put this little thing right here. Okay, so, that's there. First chicken drum. You know, sometimes I call it chicken legs because that's the way how I know it, but um, someone told me it sounds much better to use the word chicken drum. So, okay, let's use chicken drum. Um, that sounds like when you're gonna, you know, play music or something like that, like drums, I guess, but I think that this is kind of fun. And 
I just for the kids, you know, they can grab the drum. Go like that, so. Yeah, just saying, you know, like, I like music, so. Um, <clears throat> today I'm listening to some very nice and beautiful uh, Caribbean music, especially some nice salsa. And so that's what I'm listening today. And I always like to keep some nice, beautiful music while I'm cooking or while I'm doing many things. So, uh, I love to listen to music and those are things that I think that it gives a very nice, beautiful ambience, you know, when you are at the house and just enjoying your time and especially if you are cooking or doing something, you know, um, it's nice, you know, when you have a, your family and something, but like I said, you're just by yourself and you're going to make like a nice, beautiful ambience, so just put a little music and start dancing, you know, and just enjoying the time, enjoying the vibe and you know, just being you while you're preparing this, and so uh, today is a Sunday morning, and um, I'm preparing this for my meal prepping. So um, uh, this is just the marination piece, because later on at night, after I after I come back, you know, from doing some errands and stuff, I'm actually gonna watch a game, and so I'm gonna watch uh, some uh, football game. It's gonna be the 49ers game, and. Um, looking forward to watch that one and so um, after I come back I'm gonna look forward to be able to cook this the way how I am going to cook this later at night is gonna be um, is going to be uh, putting in the pan you know with some olive oil and then I am going to sear it uh, until it gets nice beautiful and little golden and so and then I'm gonna put it back into the oven for about uh, 35 minutes and then you can see so the reason why I like to do the, the little searing it's because on each side it's because that way you maintain all the juices of the chicken so that is something that does really help so that's my recommendation to to do that and to that way you know like sometimes when you put your chicken in the oven it gets either it doesn't keep the flavor or it doesn't um, really um, gets moist. So we want the, our chicken drums to be nice and moist and super delicious. So that's something that I really like to be able to, <clears throat> to work with the chicken. And that's something I found out. I have made the chicken uh, different ways. And <clears throat> especially the chicken drums, you want to be able to be nice and moist. And remember, this is not just to eat it all today this is for our meal prep so um, that way if you are gonna eat it on Monday or on Tuesday you want your chicken to be nice and delicious and moist so please let me know how how you like to prepare your chicken so and and then later on I'm gonna post another video you know while I am preparing it on the pot I like to use a black scallop and so on this black scallop, um, I put some nice olive oil and then um, I finish it up, you know, to sear the, uh, the chicken drums and to make them nice and delicious. So that is a beautiful way how to, to cook the chicken drums, you know, and to leave them marinating. So this marination, I'm going to repeat the ingredients. So it's going to have some uh, rosemary, thyme, sage, uh, laurel leaves. It has garlic, it has lemon, salt, and pepper. And it's gonna be having some nice scotch pepper. So yes, yeah, sometimes I don't post the descriptions on the video, but please, if you have a little time, just trying to, to capture this area and um, to and that way you can make some nice and delicious chicken. If you don't want to put it in the oven and you want to just eat it right away, just uh, cook it a little bit more until it's nice golden brown. Your chicken, you know, and your pan, and you can eat it just right away. So, um, obviously, you know, you have to wait until it's nice and cooked. So, which is gonna be just delicious, and um, it will take a little bit uh, longer in the pan. You know, you have to watch out that the chicken is going to be nice and cooked, and so. And remember, when you are um, peeling or taking off the um, the uh, the skin of the chicken, 
So something important that you have to do is you have to really uh, hold these things firm and go like this, you know, and just peel the, the leg, you know, like take off the, the skin of the chicken leg. And um, it takes a little bit of skill. Some people, they don't like to touch that. Some people, they might be nasty out about but that's okay you know let me tell you cooking is not easy cooking is a science and uh, i appreciate you know when people they just say, say that they don't want to do it because they don't want to touch the chicken very much i appreciate that but uh some of us you know just i personally i don't like the chicken skin and if you want to keep it keep it that's okay you know that's it's up to you and again you know like some people they just they like to keep all the stuff. I personally, no, I like to keep my things nice and, and lean the most as I can. So, okay, now let's take a look. Here is the debris, you know, that we have from this. And so that's going to be thrown away. I'm going to uh, wash my hands. And the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to um, grab a uh, knife. And um, I'm going to make a few cuts in the chicken. So I'm gonna have this knife. I'm trying to have your things nice and close to you. So, and then uh, with this, you wanna cut different areas in the chicken. One, two, and three, okay? Do three cuts in each side. One, two, and three. Hold your knife very nicely, okay? If you have uh, some teenagers helping you while you're cooking, please let them know Let them know that the knife is not to play and to hold the knife very nice and steady for you too as an adult, okay? So please do not be a of knife. Respect the knife. Hold it uh, with a lot of strength. So that's something very important like, is hold the knife. Don't be scared of the knife. Okay, so I'm from San Jose, Costa Rica. And let me tell you, when I was young, I remember walking with a, a pocket knife my whole life. And it's something that we learn since we are very little. And it's like, you hold the knife steady. You use the knife for everything, you know? So uh, I this one's already been done. And so, and sometimes, you know, I have seen people in here uh, who just doesn't really grab the knife how it needs to be. They're kind of afraid. They're afraid of cutting things. Please don't be afraid uh, trying to to become one with it. So, and that's important. And the knife is not for playing, um, but hold it steady. The items that you're holding also hold them steady. And so... And that's something important, you know. Uh, it's dangerous, yes, it's gonna be dangerous for adults, for young people, for everyone. But if you don't hold it steady, it's going to be even more dangerous. So let's check that everything is nice and, and beautiful and cut so that looks very perfect. And let's put all this in the sink. Okay, I'm gonna be using this knife one more time. And I'm gonna dry everything I got. I'm going to uh, remove some things out of the way. And now I'm going to remove this. And I'm going to bring this other uh, board that I have because I have some very beautiful spices in here that I'm going to be using, okay? So let's see the chicken. Here's how the chicken looks like. It looks very beautiful. I'm gonna have some tea. Cheers to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab um, the rosemary. I'm gonna do all of this like this, you know, with the rosemary. And so the rosemary it smells so delicious. Let me tell you, it's just amazing the way how the rosemary smells. We, we're gonna be using our debris pot. I just love rosemary and then you're gonna do this like this and then you're gonna put the sage too this gonna smell wonderful super wonderful and 
doing all these things like this and then we have uh, our thyme you know and so and then once we have this we're gonna do this part like this you know all the time we're gonna get the little things on the time and so this is gonna be amazing and delicious and so I love fresh herbs do you like fresh herbs tell me uh, from where you're washing from and how, what kind of herbs you like to use and which you know like which ones are the type of herbs that you like to, to use the most how do you use them sometimes I like to put uh, in my rice I like to put some thyme so I think it tastes very delicious so okay so once you have this like this nice and clean so you're gonna grab this one you just go like this okay you're just trying to make like a you're just trying to cut it the best you can little by little okay and so because this is going to be in a very nice beautiful mixture that we are going to do and um and so and yes let me tell you how my workout clothes because I am going to work out afterwards, so, and I like to have my routine of working out every single Sunday. I like to run maybe like 4.9 miles. I like to go out with my son. Uh, he is, uh, he's 20 years old, and he's the one who is in charge of peeling the garlic. once you have all of this like this something I'm going to do is I'm going to use this little friend right here okay and I'm going to put this in here mm -hmm. I know that some people are just gonna put the herbs and just start squeezing them that way, but that's okay. I just I did it that way. And, um, so and then you're gonna squeeze the lemon, squeeze it very hard, very nicely. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use this little thing that way we won't have seeds. Okay, just squeeze the lemon very nicely. Mm -hmm. I got this nice um, Mayor's lemon at Safeway, and I'm so happy. I'm so happy about it. I love lemon. I always love to add some nice lemon to my chicken. I think it makes the chicken taste super delicious. I'm not going to throw this away, okay? And mix well with this lemon too. This is squeeze it very nicely. Now, let's just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze very nicely. Lemon is gonna give a super wonderful flavor to this. And this is some of the ingredients that probably you can have it in every house. So, trying to get some nice and beautiful lemon. Later on, we're gonna be putting this in the refrigerator. Uh, it's going to be You can see how nice this thing here is all the breathing. Look, this just works very nicely. Okay, so now let's try to do all this like this. You know, to, to make these things like this. Let's squeeze it. And um, now let's put some nice garlic. Discarded. It's gonna be about maybe like 10 uh, garlic pieces that I'm having in here. So the idea is to try to squeeze this and to bring all the delicious juices in it. 
So you're squeezing all of this. You're including uh, the garlic, the thyme, the rosemary, the sage, and also the laurel leaves in there. So you can see how it changes colors. Let's add more garlic, remember? Yeah, I am a garlic person, so I always have love to use garlic. Now, let's put some salt in here. Okay, like this is just perfect. That's gonna be like one tablespoon of salt. And then from here, I'm going to put my little spoon on the black pepper. And just do this, like this. I like some nice crushed pepper. I always have love pepper. And then, Let's do this. Okay, let's add some delicious flavor. Who doesn't like to add some nice hot pepper to the chicken? I do. Okay, so now we have this with this. This looks just wonderful. Very beautiful. I can just smell it. It's so good. Mm -hmm. It does really smell good. Okay. you can see the color too. Let's put a little bit of olive oil, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. And... After I do this, I'm gonna put this mixture in another container for you guys to see it, how it actually looks. So you can use that marination for a lot of many more things. And so let me use one container like this. I'm going to use this container. Okay, I always like to use a lot of uh, nice glass containers, okay? And let's keep smashing this like this. Mm -hmm. Be very careful. <laughs> I pulled it out so much. Ah! Okay, so now let's uh, grab this and let's put it in our container. Mm -hmm. And then you can see how delicious this looks. Over here. This is nice and smush. Now, let me show you. This looks just like this. It's a very nice, delicious mixture for the chicken, okay? So uh, now, let me just uh, clear this section in. And um, let's see, I'm going to add, just because I love black pepper, I'm just gonna add a little bit more black pepper. Use a little bit more. I'm going to add a little bit more salt, just let's do that. And then I'm going to add some more olive oil. Okay. And so, and the reason why is because this is going to be marinating. And let's just mix this like this. Okay. And do, 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 do. Uh, I wish you could smell this. Just look how beautiful this looks. Very nicely. Okay, so I'm going to remove these things out of the way. And now let's work with our chicken. And so I have some nice and beautiful brushes right here. But for right now, I'm going to just do this. Okay. And let's mix everything very beautifully. 
something that it's important is uh, always to be able to cover all your chicken drums, okay? So now that we have this like this, I'm going to grab um, this and let's just start brushing these things in like this, okay? Trying to have everything to be nice and covered very, very beautifully. Let me tell you, you're gonna be so happy once you have made this delicious recipe and you have everything be so beautiful and be mixed. Mm -hmm. Like this. Okay. And it's all the chicken is nice and beautiful. And all of it, it has some of the mixture that we just made. And this is going to be marinated for about, uh, you can keep it uh, regularly, 30 minutes. But in my case, I'm going to leave it a little bit longer because I'm looking forward to this at night. Right now it's early in the morning here in California. And so, and I'm gonna look forward to be cooking this uh, at night for my house and for to make it a nice meal prepping for the week. So I hope you guys uh, have enjoyed this recipe. I'm going to repeat the ingredients. So uh, this mixture that I have right here, it has uh, olive oil, salt, pepper, thyme, rosemary, sage, laurel leaves, uh, and a little bit of crushed pepper, so you can use any type of table salt that you like. Oh, and a lot of garlic, and it has the lemon. Oh, I remember that I talked to you about the lemons. So these ones are the lemon peels that we have. So I always love, but just love, to cut the lemons a little bit like this. Okay, and to put them around over here like this it gives like a very nice flavor and something you know you can squeeze a little bit more around the area and i love lemon i think the lemon gives a super nice delicious flavor and besides that the aromas that the lemon brings to the food is just delicious so uh, and something that you can do also is uh, have the lemon zest but this time i didn't use the lemon zest that's okay and um, let's, um, let's keep cutting these things and let's mix all of this together one more time. Remember, it has porks, uh, cut your, your uh, chicken very nicely, mix everything very beautifully, give yourself enough space, have a plastic bag to clean everything beautiful and you know to keep on working on this and you can prepare this overnight you know and cook it during the day for the next lunch you can eat it right away or you can just um, you know just have it for the meal prep like I'm doing for myself and the family and so I hope you guys enjoy please let me know what you think about the recipe and this is the end result this is how it looks and I hope you guys like it. Please let me know. Uh, post any comments. Uh, let me know. We'll be happy to read them. Let me know from where you're watching. And please make this delicious mixture. Oh, the leftovers of this mixture is that after you have uh, put them in the oven, for instance. Sorry, after you have uh, put them in the, in the uh, pan or in the scallop, before you're going to put it into the oven, you can brush it up a little bit with this uh, leftover. So please save this leftover. Always keep something like that. Have a wonderful day and thank you for watching. And let me know what do you think about the recipe. Bye-bye. Mm,